It is peak week. What is up, YouTube? I'm feeling a little bit shattered, shattered, <coughs> scattered today, might you say. It is peak week, and it's actually been a really nice, cruisy week until today. Today has just been hectic, 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 hectic. And in a way that's like, it's not like bad hectic, but just busy. Lou got up a little bit late this morning, and that kind of throws out the day because... I don't like rushing her to daycare. It's not something on my high agenda list. So I like to take the day a little bit slower with her. But that means kind of everything got pushed back. I wasn't meant to drive her to daycare. Matt was meant to. But then that all kind of just didn't work out. And then we had content creation today with Jordan, our videographer, which we were very unprepared for. But I still think we got some good stuff. We're just a little bit shat- scattered at the moment, shattered, scattered. Um, we also have the renos happening, which is really exciting. So that's something that's like stressful, but we still have to go pick out a few things for the house to make sure that everything's like what we want. I'm going to get Liz, my friend, to help me with that actually, because I'm not an interior designer. Um, I just finished training. This is my second, well, my last mid low day. I wouldn't even say it's low. It's like 2,200 calories. So just maintaining weight at the moment, and then we'll be doing some lo- high loading days. I'll be competing on Saturday. So it's food today, as always, same, same. Chicken, vegetables, potato, no change. Teriyaki sauce, done. My photos this morning, I'll put them here. So I think I'm getting better at my side shots. I'm really making sure that I'm breathing out all the air and then having that tiny little waist because that's what's one thing that I really wanted to work on was my weak point was my waist on that side. So I've been really practicing that this week, troubleshooting, doing all the things. I have posing again tomorrow morning and then essentially we leave on Thursday. So I just got to book our car in for parking, make sure all that kind of is being done. I don't really feel lean, which is strange because I look at myself and I look lean, but like in my body, I feel normal. I feel pretty good. Like I don't feel tired or overly fatigued. I have a little bit of a snotty nose in the moment. It happens when you're at the tail end of prep. So, you know, your immune system isn't going to be fantastic. I've been onto it, my supplements. That just reminded me I haven't taken any all day, but I'll take them. Weird thing, I added ashwagandha back into my, my stack at nighttime to help me sleep. But it's actually been making me feel really tired in the morning waking up. Yeah, and I've been waking up really tired from the ashwagandha. So I'm going to take that out tonight and see if that makes a difference because I don't really like feeling like drowsy in the morning. I'd rather wake up and feel like ready to go. But on my stack stuff, my sub stack of stuff that I like to take, which is probably like what general people take earlier, really but I actually got someone to do my bloods and analyze them. I take magnesium at nighttime, ashwagandha at nighttime, my vitamin B complex. I've been taking armor force to stop me from being sick. Electrolytes in the morning. I do take JS Health ta- um, hair and energy. I found that they really help postpartum. Cod liver and digestive enzymes. That's with each meal. And that's my stack. It's pretty simple, basic. <sighs> Gosh, guys. Nerves. Nerves for show. I, I had a really shitty day yesterday in terms of like mood. I was just really like in a crappy mood. And I find that I do this when I... I don't know how to kind of express that I'm nervous and I get shitty instead. So I recognized that yesterday and I was just like, why am I being like this? And I was just nervous. I'm nervous about the whole process. I'm nervous about the tan. I don't know what to wear on my tan. And I'm I'm nervous about my posing, even though I practice every day. Like I'm just getting general nerves at the moment, which are normal. So I'm just giving myself grace with that to feel the feels at the moment. What else? I've been listening to some really cool podcasts by Chris Williamson, Modern Wisdom. I would recommend him to anyone. Some really cool ones around like social media and and things like that. So, all right, guys. Well, I will um, eat my meal and then I'm going to go to physio and then I will record a little bit more of day-to-day tomorrow with Luna and then Thursday we'll be flying out. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, so this is going to be a really realistic day in the day of prep, so I am sick. Luna is very sick, so we're all at home today, just resting. This lighting is terrible. I just got my eyelashes done, as you can see. It's going to fly away very soon. And it's my first high day, so I will take you through what that looks like in terms of food. Yeah, it's obviously just the same, but just bigger amounts, so no surprises there. Uh, meal one, egg, rice, mayonnaise, teriyaki. 
Matt's just taken Luna to the doctor and she has croup. So there's really nothing that we can do other than give her the medication and hopefully she'll feel better in a couple of days. I'm just hoping and praying she just bounces back. She has a great sleep tonight and she feels like 100% better tomorrow. I'm still going to just check and make sure she is happy to go to grandma and granddad's. I, yes, I do talk to my daughter. And if she's really not, and if she really, really is like clingy and needy, which is totally fine because she's sick, one of us will stay. But we'll, we'll just let this play out. We'll just let this play out and see how it goes. Thank God I have high calories today because I'm just eating my feelings with my food today. This is my last, second last meal, so I get early for this one. But I thought she's going to be back soon and I'm going to just spend some time with her. So it's steak, chicken, um, steak, rice, teriyaki sauce, a little bit of vegetables there, not too much. Um, and yeah, rice. So this one's going in. I got my hair braided by the team at Maverick just to have it out of the way and done oh yeah i made her some nice risotto so hopefully that'll be nice i don't let her throat because her throat's so sore when it rains it pours when it rains it pours all right change of plans guys so we're meant to leave this morning at seven my hair is awful but they delayed our flight so all they cancelled our flight so i'm gonna go train this morning and then we're going to jump on a plane and i still gotta shave and everything because i go straight to my tan after <laughs> All right, guys, the frantic last minute pack as we are going to go to the airport now. I just shaved my body for the tan and I cut myself everywhere. So I put band aids on. <laughs> I'm a dickhead. I'm gonna have one of my meals. It's another high day today, so 2500 calories. One of my meals before we go, and then essentially I just will have a wheat bix meal when I get to Melbourne. Should be a late one, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm gonna take the container down anyway. We always end up buying them down there, so I'm gonna think ahead and get it before we go. And that's really about it, guys. And hopefully I don't, I get like anxiety about planes because I don't wanna miss it. I don't wanna miss this flight. That would be shit. So we're gonna get ready. I'm so far behind with carbs and calories today. So I'm doing what I can. I got my wheat mix. Glad I bought a bowl. I have a small child's fork, and we're just not gonna make this happen. It's gonna be uh, up to nine o'clock tonight. Eating food. Eating meals. No, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. What have you got? Barry. Here's my. You ready for this, guys? A gluten free. Smushy. Doesn't look the best, but <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have it. I'll have it. Damn. Guys, I accidentally booked off air park car pickup, so we have to get on a bus now. And we're running out of time. <laughs> What's going on here, boss? <laughs> we're at the airport. We've had a bit of a day. Flight's cancelled, we're here late. We're now gonna go hire a car. Well, we've booked the car. We've gotta leave the airport to get to the car. And then we've gotta make it to tanning on time. Sam's getting clothes ready now for tanning. Done. Done. Thumbs up. All right, what are we doing? We are here at Coles. We found a Coles. And we are getting food. For more tomorrow. food for tomorrow with the rest of our meals that we bought. So vegetables, eggs, probably some fruit. Eggs. You need egg whites, babe? Guys, that is our day done and dusted. I'm gonna have the rest of my carbs, which I'm a little bit behind in, and I'm gonna watch some Netflix. Bliss. Bliss, 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 bliss. Hello, YouTube. I just woke up. It is eight o'clock on Friday. Tan is nicely baked. I'm gonna get on with that day. All right, guys, up and photos are done. Um, I will attach them here, here, front, side, back. <laughs> then, first meal, egg, rice, cooking some rice for today and tomorrow. Matt's on the tools again this morning, getting some work done, and then I'm going to go get some nails done, and that's it. We'll come back here, check in again, and then do athletes check in at 12 o'clock. Guys, I have my eggies already. I'm going to have my second meal. 
my weight is kind of like dropping a little bit which Luke didn't really want it to he just wants it to kind of stay stable so we're doing what we can which I'm not worried about because I don't necessarily want to feel like super full in my belly when I'm trying to pose so being empty but full is kind of what we're leaning for I have really shitty times for makeup and hair at the moment so I'm trying to change them Matt just got back from breakfast how was it Hey guys. Is it okay? It was alright. Average? Good job. No, no, it was okay. Um, and all of our chicken's frozen because the fridge went from like sort of cold to like freezing overnight. You turned it up, didn't you? Yeah, I did turn it up. Oh, no, Emily's frozen all my food. Uh, it's, not, it's like half frozen, so it's not too bad. I'm going to have some chicken and rice. No veg today. And I need to go poop. So, bye. It is morning of show number one. I know I did this, but uh, it is six o'clock. And I'm just gonna make some of my first meals just in case I have to eat soon. So, look, I probably got about four hours sleep. We had our neighbor up banging around for about five hours last night. So, I went down and told reception. It was a whole thing. But we're here and it's okay. My weight was actually low today. Meal one in fridge. I'm off to do my hair and makeup and I'll be back. Makeup done. I had to make a slight adjustment to my eyeballs. If I have a really dark eye, I look like I have no eyes. So I just had to lighten up the inbud, which is what they could have done. But I didn't ask. And I'm, you know, I'm one of those people that really sucks at just like, like being like, please do this. Love my makeup nonetheless. They did a fantastic job. It's just the things that I know about myself in terms of what happens to my eyeballs. So now, first meal crack it in. It's just um, eggs and rice. My Instagram has absolutely fucking exploded this morning and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone that has been bombing me with love. I see you. I'm gonna head back to the place for 10, but I'm just gonna chill here. Everyone asking me why I didn't stay there. Um, I don't really like just sitting around on the ground and then when I can come back here in my own environment and just have like two seconds of chill, why wouldn't I? Next time you probably see me, I would be getting ready to go on stage or I'll be off stage, I don't know. Winner, baby. How do you feel? Pretty good. Look, there was only four of us, um, and there was only four of us, but that's okay. I'm yeah. used to competing against very small numbers. When um, you when you compete, you you want competition and you want big lineups. Not to say that they weren't competitive. No, it was actually really good. So I had two um, very novice girls, and then I had one girl that was in opens with me as well with the other novice girls, and it was nice. It was nice to be there. They were lovely girls, and. I had a really nice time on stage. And I think I did pretty good. I only messed up my posing once. And I was very grateful for Luke being there. I think it was really incredible for yeah, him. Yeah, first, first time we've ever met Coach Luke after two, two and a half years. Yeah, so it's really sick. I really yeah. appreciate him being there. I think Luke, you absolutely loved it. He was with me the whole time. And I think he was more nervous than the both of us watching him. Yeah. But yeah, so- Tell us, were you nervous? I was, I was, okay, so sorry that I actually told the, the new girl, the novice girls. I was like, what I like to do is I imagine myself being on stage and going through the whole process already, therefore I kind of shake off those nerves before I step on stage. And yeah, I was nervous, but I was Small more calm. Bit. Yeah, it was nice. So I just tried to really enjoy the time on stage because like, a lot of times it that happens and you're like, fuck, that was over. So yeah. post show, I'm having some chicken, rice, vegetables, and then we're going out for dinner tonight with Luke and M. So that'll be cool. Mm. Well, are you training this afternoon? I'm going to train upper body. I want to do an upper body pump session. Just so, in the hotel there. Yeah, just to get out of the apartment for a bit and I guess 
release a little bit more energy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do something rather than sitting around here. But YouTube, thanks for joining me on this journey and like, comment, subscribe. I will update you next week as it will be Brisbane show. Queensland. Yeah. Coming up. We're going to get three from three or just focus on just getting two from two from two. From. <laughs> <laughs> Eve.